you know, not having to go to school and teach every day, I've made a fairly decent dent so far, picture-wise anyways, into my def pile. I haven't listed too much. But every once in a while you get a surprise. You know, I bought this at a garage sale last summer and haven't even touched it. They asked five bucks, I paid three. I opened it up and the thing is brand new. I mean, stickers, you know, decals, brand new. The game is still in the package, brand new. The strap, everything's brand new. So every once in a while you get a pleasant surprise out of your death pile. So what do you think of that? Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave and we're in the eBay cave in the morning. Typically I do these videos, I, I do my shipping at night in between 10 and say midnight is what I typically do because I'm teaching, I'm coaching baseball and we're doing different stuff and I typically do it at night. Well it's the morning time so in the summer when I'm not teaching I go back to this routine where I do the shipping in the morning. Today I didn't get that done but We'll get back in the groove of listing some things too. I did take quite a few pictures yesterday. And we had some items sell that I thought were a little odd considering what's going on around us that, that sold today. So one of them was a parted out item. And it came, it was, I, I call it the original when in doubt parted out item because it's the first video I think I ever did where I used that in the title. And it's one of the things we often say around here, when in doubt parted out. And I have done that for years and years, and I'm going to let you take a look at one of those items that we parted out. It took a long, long time to sell, but it did sell. We also sold some things that we bought recently at garage sales. If you've been watching the garage sale videos, you probably will recognize a couple of them. So we had a happy little accident sale, so we'll get to add to our total for that one, which is kind of neat because it's creeping us closer and closer to my goal, which was 2500 which we fell just a tiny bit short of, but we're going to take a look at that. And we also had a gift sent to us by Rick. So Rick, if you're watching, watch the end of the video and we'll give you a little thank you at the end of the video and show everybody else out there what you sent, so we appreciate it. But in the meantime, let's take a look at what's sold. All right, so we have some creative memories. You have the case and you have the page protectors and you have the album itself. And my wife listed these. These came from the garage sale that we call the Happy Little Accident. We bought out every single thing that these folks had. They were moving to San Diego and they had tons of great stuff. So I went on a Saturday morning and bought like $150 worth of stuff and brought it all home and got it all listed. But I had left them my card. You know, one thing, and there's a video on the other channel, on the Commonwealth Flipper channel about sourcing better. And, and one of the tips I give is to tell people what you do, leave a card, leave a phone number with them, and you never know. They don't often call back, but sometimes they do. And the prices were a little bit high, especially for people who were moving in 10 days. I thought it was a little high because they wanted to sell everything. So I left them a card and said, listen, call me back when you're all done with these garage sales and let me see what's left and I might buy everything. And I went back and almost everything was still there. I couldn't believe it. Old world Christmas ornaments, all kinds of great stuff that I could sell in the antique booth and I could sell on eBay. And I said, here's my card. And they called me back and I was really excited to see how much was still there. I bought it all for 200 bucks. And so far we have made about $2,300. So we're gonna add this to the total. So for $20 plus shipping. All right, so, so far, and we have pages of this stuff, $2,348 from our initial $200 buy. And that's not gross sales, y'all. That's taking out all of the shipping. That's taking out all of the fees and the cost of goods. So actually, it's not taking out the cost of goods. That's at the top. So profit-wise, we're looking at $2,150 so far, and we still have a few more to go. If you want to go back and take a look at that, it's called The Happy Little Accident. There's a couple with that title in it. It's the one, I think it has a giant Bob Ross in the thumbnail. So if you've been around this program for a while, you've seen that. But if you haven't, go back and take a look at that and see all the stuff we got for 200 bucks. Only a couple of Animan sales today, maybe three, I think. But this one's going out to Rob. I love your content on both channels. Rarely, if ever, have I not learned something from each and every one of your videos. That's, I appreciate that very much. I probably wasn't paying close attention if I didn't learn something. Uh, I'm getting one of these for my eBay room and another to serve as a conversation piece at my outside flea market booth. 
okay? You and your family are true inspirations for other resellers like myself who are hustling in rural America. Could you sign the tags for me, please? So I guess we're gonna open these little tags up right here, see if I can do it. And I'm gonna sign those for you right there. I have to get a little pen for that. Uh, Rob, that's very flattering and thank you for the kind words and we hope you enjoy both and we hope they bring you luck and we hope they strike up some good conversations and draw people into that booth so you can sell some stuff. All right, we sold a snow baby. We haven't sold one of these in a long, long time. This one is entitled Stirring Up Trouble. Stirring Up Trouble, which means that there should probably be a picture of Boots on there because she is always stirring up trouble. At any rate, this one sold for $18.95. No shipping on that, so it is 8 ounces. So I'm going to be able to ship that thing definitely under 16 ounces. Have the right size box. You know, having the right size box, even if you're paying for them, is really important to keep items safe and to keep them under the next ounce level up. That's going to be an interesting one. I don't think we're going to get this one at 12 ounces. I just don't think you can package it up safe enough and put it in a box in four ounces, but we're gonna keep it under 16. And this is an item that is my mother-in-law's. Boy, I sound like Cincinnati Picker out there. I'm selling this for my mother-in-law. You know, you can't tell your mother-in-law no, you know, so at any rate. And so we're going to uh, give her half of that money like we typically do, and we're appreciative of the half that we're gonna make. All right, I have an Instamax Mini 9. I've never sold this camera before. You know, I, it, it's not often that I come across items that I've just never sold before. I mean, I've been doing this for, for 20 years, so this is a particular Polaroid I have never sold before. Obviously, it's a more modern one, and it sold for $18.95 plus shipping. I think I got this one at the Caught Red Handed garage sale. It has Snoopy in the uh, thumbnail. I think that's where I got it. And I can't remember, I think I bought a whole bunch of Polaroid stuff, including some film. So, uh, and I think I paid 15 bucks for it, but I could be wrong. I might've paid more, I'm not quite sure, but there was another camera in there and a bunch of film as well. So pretty happy with that sale, 18.95 plus shipping. All right, this one's going off to Dale. And Dale says, love your YouTube channels. Both of them, that's awesome, thank you. Uh, keep up the great work, hoping the notorious Animan brings me some selling luck. Stay healthy, Dale. DLJ. Oh, it's Dale. Okay, I got you now. I'm trying to figure out. Sometimes I'm reading this for the first time, y'all, when I get these. And, and sometimes people put things that I don't quite grasp until I have to think about it for a minute. And it's all caps. D-L-J from P-A. It's all one word. So from Pennsylvania. So Dale, we appreciate it. I think this was a... I don't know. I'm not sure where this came from. This could have come from two places. It could have come from my wife buying it at Goodwill. It's a Lily Pulitzer. Or it could have come from a lot that I got for free at an estate sale. They clearly were packing up this estate sale. It was family run. And, and they had bags and bags of clothes. I'm like, hey, you mind if I take these to the Goodwill for you? They're like, sure, no problem. They just started piling them in. I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I brought them all home. And I looked through all of them. And we pulled out quite a few clothes. And we put the rest back, back in bags. And we took it to the Goodwill. And we probably made 100 bucks off that deal. I think that's where this one came from, to be honest with you. But I'm not positive. I'll have to ask my wife. $18 free shipping. So if we paid nothing for it, we're going to make like 14 eh, A little less than that. We'll make like uh, 12 bucks on it. If we went and got it at the Goodwill, we'll make around 8 Maybe 9 So at any rate, it's a nice little, I don't know like a springtime painter's shirt or something like that i like it that reminds me i think and you guys let me know in the comments you know this time that we're in right now i think people are buying things that they can do some work around their house if they're home and so like home improvement stuff and tools and things like that i think games and and entertainment that's i think why the creative memories what a good time you know if you've got time on your hands to knock out a project that you've been wanting to do that's the kind of stuff I think that's selling. Let me know what's selling for you. Are there any type items that you think are selling because of the circumstances we're in right now? And is there anything that is completely slowed down to a, to a creep, to a crawl? Clothing, I think, has just not sold at all for me. So you guys let me know out there what is selling for you. Hey, looking back over here, this reminded me of something here. So I had somebody ask me about this because this was a thumbnail and it was really our first video that kind of went kind of big. It was like, I don't know, 20,000 views or something. So I pulled it out. It was actually in my car. They're like, I want that CD. It was in a thumbnail, a garage sale video that we did. It was entitled, I better keep my mouth shut at this garage sale or something like that. I can't quite remember. And somebody's like, I want that thing. I want you to autograph it and whatever. I'm like, okay. And so 
I think I responded to them and never heard back from them again or they sent an email that got buried or something. And then I had somebody else ask about it and so I pulled it out and my wife's like, I don't want that thing hanging around anymore. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give it away. So I'm gonna give this away on the Commonwealth Flipper channel in the next few days at some point and maybe we'll throw in a uh, Misfit and a man over there and we'll do a giveaway video. So if that was you out there and you asked me to sign this thing and give it to you, you're now gonna have to win it. And my wife says it has to go, which, you know, hey, I suppose I better do what she says. Matter of fact, I better hide it behind the popple so she didn't see it in the video. All right, here is the when in doubt parted out item that I was talking about. And it came from a video entitled when in doubt parted out reselling a dumpster dive find or something like that. And me and my boy were going to the dump one day. You know, we live out in the boonies, so we don't have trash collection. We have to actually take our trash to the dump. I know that's odd to some of you out there, but some of you in those rural areas know exactly what I'm talking about. It, it was odd to me. I grew up in Southern California, so I'm like, what? We don't have trash pickup. At any rate, this was at the dump, and it was a full Nordic track. It wasn't in perfect shape, so we took it home, and we tore off the good pieces, and we took the rest back to the dump. And this is one of the items. We sold quite a few of those items fairly quickly. I think there's maybe one or two left. There's another ski left. These are really slow movers, but this one sold for $15.95 plus shipping. $15.95 plus shipping. So it's pretty good. I mean, it was no work at all. You literally just grabbed it off of the machine. I took a picture of it, I weighed it, I measured it, put calculated shipping on there, and I put it in a closet over there and I just forgot that I had it. And so $15.95, no cost whatsoever. After shipping and fees, we're gonna make like 12 bucks. There's two of them, so there's 24. We sold the computer off of it, I think, and a bunch of other parts. We'll make close to $100 parting that machine out which is uh, a good way to make some money, especially for you uh, scavengers out there who like to frequent those dump sites. All right, one last in a man. This one's going out to Joyce, and Joyce has bought a few of these from us in the past. Uh, one for herself, one for her granddaughter. My husband said he needed a misfit one, and he would like for you to sign it, please. He is 74. He's getting grouchy being stuck at home. This is for my husband, Bob. So, Bob, this one's coming out to you. Matter of fact, it's not this one. Actually, it is. This is a misfit. It's missing the end there. So we'll, we'll send this one out to you and I'll, I'll sign it for you. And she says, I am a part-time seller on eBay and Mercari. God bless you and your family for making our evenings more enjoyable as we watch your channel. That's very, very nice of you and we appreciate it. And we hope this one is enjoyed by Bob. And Bob, we hope you get out soon. All right, so I know that I said that the giveaway might be today, but it's not going to be. It's going to be tomorrow, unless something comes up again tomorrow. So I just wanted to give a giant thank you to Rick. Rick sent a really, really nice note and sent me these Kentucky plates. Now, we just got some Kentucky plates, but they're a different type. So this is really kind of cool, Jefferson County and Fayette County. And it's the Bluegrass State, and Kentucky is also a Commonwealth. So that is awesome, and they are going to find a great place here in the Commonwealth Cabin, which is... Getting some finishing touches back there that we're going to show you here pretty quick. And don't forget, tomorrow, either the Rolo printer or $100. So good luck to you.